So in this video, we're going to show you how we actually get the information for building that custom XML. So if we, so we're going to take this custom XML and we're going to talk about it real quick. So we'll put it over here for now, and we're going to go over here. So within Terminal, you use a friend of mine a code sign, and then what you're going to do is dash d v v v, and we'll look at the, we'll talk about the different ways you can use these utilities, but we're just going to focus on code sign. And then I happen to know that this, that our friend diskutel is an S, is an user spin, and then we type diskutel, and then we hit enter, and look at all this information we get down here. So it's going to tell us where the executable lives. So you can actually go down and put that in the path field. That's one example that we can do. Another one that we can do, which we did not do here, but you can, is you can actually use the um, the bundle ID, which is not a field we're using in here, but you can actually use the bundle ID and you could actually pop that in as well, which helps. And additionally, what we're just talking about that CD hash is you grab the CD hash right here, the regular, not the full one, but the regular one, and you pop that in right there. And then some of the other fields that you have in here, if we focus on it a little bit more for a second, is this actions one is basically, it tells us the block, uh, then you have your message there, which is, you know, you don't have to use disk util. You might actually make something more general if you want to use this single payload to block a lot of things. But you could also potentially push down individual ones. It really kind of depends on what your, kind of what your goals and what your focus is. But the great thing about this is that you have so many different ways of working with this and how you can use it to make yourself dynamic and de deliver almost like empty, uh, that's what I'm looking for, but almost like a CrowdStrike like capability within your platform to be able to just block those things that you know are bad and try to work with the OS the best you can.